you would, you'd be turning to the book of Matthew. We want to study a little bit about some parables. And one of them is uh, chapter 13 and verse 24 concerning the parable of the wheat and the tares. And it's, uh, there's, a, there's a whole lot, I've been studying it, and, uh, and uh, there's a lot there, a lot of times that we scan over and we don't uh, uh, see real clear, but uh, this, these parables that he spoke, he spoke them where that uh, as only he could speak them, and, and he, he spoke them where that they could understand them, Right. And, uh, uh, and, and it's, it's a way of, uh, the in the Old Testament, uh, a lot of them, they use these parables. And uh, this, is a, this is a story, or a parable of, of, uh, of, a, of, a, of an evil spirit that was uh, mad because of what Jesus Christ had done. And uh, we want to we want to read just a little bit, and then we'll try to get through this. Uh, but in in verse 24 of Matthew 13, another parable, or some of sometimes it's referred to as a proverb, but another parable put he forth unto them, saying, "The kingdom of heaven." And the kingdom of heaven, I believe, he's saying here on earth uh, is like unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. Now this, this parable that he's speaking to uh, the disciples here took place on earth, and we want to look at the, uh, the uh, world here, or the field is the world. And he had prepared this earth for his saints. And he started out uh, God did with Adam and Eve, which were were perfect people, and uh, everything was going smooth. But the devil come in and interfered with this situation. Right. And uh, he he put sin into the hearts of Adam and Eve. He enticed them to do things that was wrong. And I believe this is one of the things that Jesus is trying to tell. The disciples here because the disciples didn't understand it and they come back over uh, we'll see in, uh, later on and ask him about this parable and so we see here that here he says at the uh, that uh, uh, the, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed good seed in the field and this like I said this man being the Lord Jesus Christ but while men slept his enemy came and sowed tares, and these tares are called darnels, and they're very poisonous. They're, they're a type of sin, and they are among the wheat. He sowed them among the wheat and went his way. Now here is the thing about the tares, and, it, and I told you they are poisonous. The, 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 the seed of them is poisonous, and it will it will learn a wheat crop if you don't get them away from there. And it's the same way with these these tares that represent sin. And when they get into a a person, they will destroy him, uh, just as sin destroys a human being. And so we want to see here that there was a problem come when when they went out there after the little t wheat had started coming up. And uh, they seen it growing, and it looked good, and it and, it, and there wasn't nothing they could see wrong with it. But he says here, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, so here again they had to wait all of this time, and hit, they come right up with them, and it's the same way with the church, with the world. Listen, we have churches that have tares in them. We have churches that. Uh, that people have been sitting on the pews for 25 and 30 years, and listen, they all look the same. Mm -hmm. But now notice here, when they brought forth fruit. Right. Now this is the time that the, ma the people that was going to harvest this, or the people that were working for them, they identified them. And they understood what was going on because this was a practice, practice back in the Old Testament that 
and, and a lot of times it was a prank, and a lot of times it was to get back at your uh, at, at your enemy. But when they sold this this field of wheat and it had it all all cultivated and and sow good seed in there, then they would come in there and they would sow these others and these tares, and they would come up and they would they would damage this crop of wheat because they had to go in there and pluck each one of those pieces of wheat out and get them out before they could harvest the wheat and grind it up because if they didn't, if they brought it all together, then it would poison the wheat and the wheat was worked. And so here's the situation and it's the same way this morning with the, with the devil and how he works his little, his little place because he loves to sneak in of a, of, a, of a night or of a day and he says, while men slept. Right. And listen, I, I, I think about this this morning when, when Jesus Christ was there in the Garden of Gethsemane and he said, I'm going yonder and pray. And he said, y'all stay here and pray for me. Right. And listen, he went out there and he prayed. <clears throat> but the, the disciples went to sleep. Mm -hmm. And so here again, this was a discouragement unto the Lord Jesus Christ, but he, he went and done this three times, and then the last time he come to him, he said, sleep on. Right. So the time is here. And it's the same way here while men sleep. And this is why it's so dangerous in the church if the pastor is not close to the Lord, and if the Lord don't show him and point out to him that the word that he needs to use for that these tares that are in the church will be affected by the word of God and they will either leave or they will be plucked up and, and where the, the church can grow together where right. it a good a good wheat crop. And so we see here, he said here, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Now this this was the devil himself, and he was doing this, like I said, and he, he was the one that, that, uh, that got the thrill out of it. And it says, but when the blades were sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares. And this morning, the Bible says that you can tell the, 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 um, the Christian by the fruit he bears, or the, tell the person by the fruit he bears, and it's that way uh, the biggest majority of the time. And people can, people can fool you for years and right. years and years, and while they're like the wheat, while it's growing up together with the terrors, uh, the and the terrors can fool the people and uh, not be not be noticed, noticed, and they bring haughty spirits into the service of God. Right, and it's just like the tares when they're coming up, and when they get ready, they bring poison into the wheat, and so all of it together cannot serve the Lord. And so when they, when when this when these things happen, the Lord sends messages to us, and a lot of times when we sit up there and we listen to those messages, and we say, well, what in the world is he talking about? What is he trying to say? Listen, there is a need for every message. There is a need for these things because a true pastor of God does hear from God. Amen. God directs him. And so when you hear things like this, uh, and even in our church, hey, listen, there's a need for it. It may not it may not show itself for a long time, and like this year, it didn't show the terrors uh, for a whole year or six months or whatever it took for them to come up. But that's what is what we're talking about this morning. So this fruit, this fruit will uh, uh, identify the person, and good fruit the Christian will produce, and eventually. The lost person that's sitting under the, the preaching of God will produce, his fruit will show, mm -hmm. and then it will be false fruit. And the only thing that will take care of this false fruit is repentance. And Amen. so this morning, here's what it is. So then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did not thou sow good seed in thy field? 
from whence then hath this tares? And so we see here that the field was perfect. The field was was ready for the wheat, and it was the, it was it was the uh, the master's field. And it's the same way this morning when 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 the devil come in on the scene here on this earth. The Lord had. Uh, uh, God has said to the uh, to the earth, "Let there be a division of the water and the land. Let there be cattle." Let, and He said, and He seen that all was good. And so we see that the the earth started out good, just like this field that they're talking about. It's a type of the world. Right. And 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 the and the the, the sin was sown by the devil in Adam and in Eve. And bless your heart. It's all. It's come all the way down to us this morning. Amen. You're right. We're we 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 have it, and listen. We can't get rid of it because the only thing, only way that we're going to get rid of it is to die. Mm -hmm. And uh, and our souls are saved, but our spirit, our 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 body is still contaminated. And so here's what uh, what the the uh, the uh, the man said to him. He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? Now, he said, Nay, no. And the thing of it is, he, he gave them the reason this morning why that these, these terrors, and, 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 and I wanna, I wanna, I, I've, I've seen this happen in churches at the people that were going there and, and the pastor of the church thought that he had spotted some tares. And what did he do? He insulted, he run them off. Now listen, that's not, that's not, the, that's not what the Bible says for this for right. to happen. Listen, he says here, let them all grow together. Let them all grow together. And when the harvest time comes, then they'll be taken care of. But until that time, don't disturb that Christian that's sitting beside of that unsaved person by rooting up the one that's beside of it because then you'll have an effect on the saved person, the Christian person. You may discourage him in some way because they may have been friends or they may have love for one another. And listen, this is what the Bible says this morning is don't root up the tares. Leave them alone. Now no, notice here, he said in verse 28 uh, or 29, but he said, Nay, lest while you gather up the tares, you root up also the wheat with them. And, and I know that this morning, uh, you that have had any kind of a garden or flower pots or anything like that, when a, when a clump of grass gets into them, if you pull them up, you're, you're bringing out dirt and all that roots and exposing that flower or whatever to the uh, sun to pour it and dry it out or it will kill it. And if you don't cover it back up, listen, it, it might kill the flower. And, and so this is why he said, don't, 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 don't pull it up, just let it be. And so here, I want you to, I want to try to get to this. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reaper, gather ye together first the tares. Now, in the book of Revelations, it talks about the resurrection. Mm -hmm. And it says the resurrection of the, 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 of the saved will be first. Right. Now, he's saying here, leave them alone. And, and 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 when 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 the when the time comes for harvest, gather and bundle up the tares first. So what is he saying here? He's not talking about the resurrection. He's talking here about when harvest time, the end of the world, when the harvest time comes, these tares will be bundled. And how will they be bundled? Well, they will leave, they will come. They will come together by themselves, and they will they will seek out the worldly things, and they can agree on all of these things, and they can come together, and so they will bundle themselves, and 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 and, and those that are uh, in the resurrection, those that are 
that are saved that in the first resurrection, they will be taken out first, but the bundled ones will be left here for another thousand years right. to serve the devil or, or to serve whoever's in charge. And, and then they will be put in, but they've already bundled themselves. They've always, already uh, shown what they, what they truly are. And so they will be bundled by themselves. And later on, the angels will come. He says, let them both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers. Now, the reapers are the angels. And the angels will come down and gather these up. And this is after the first resurrection. And he, they will gather them up, and they will carry them and throw them into the lake of fire. That's the way that I understand this. And so we'll look at it just in a minute over in ver and, uh, la the latter part of this. But he says here, but let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest, I will say to the reaper, reapers, gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. And so the bar the, the 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 tares are going to be bundled here on earth. The the first resurrection is when he gathers the the ones that have served him into his barn or when he, he calls them to heaven. So now notice. Uh, and, but gather the wheat into my barn. Now I want you to look over in verse 37 just a minute here. And we want to see something because the, 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 uh, the disciples did not understand what Jesus was talking about when he was talking about this. And so he, he, he explained this, this parable to them. He says, in verse uh, 36, and Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man, Amen. Jesus Christ. All right, notice. The field is the world. And so it's not only. It's not only just the churches or the buildings or whatever, but listen, he sowed, he sowed these, he sowed these good seed all over the world, and he chose these good seed, and he sowed them, and but the, the devil comes in and, and throws the terrors uh, into there. So the field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the terrors are the children of the wicked one. So the enemy that sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the world. Amen. So now the end of the world is when the, the first resurrection takes place. I, I, I believe that. And so he's carried them out, and he's left all of these back here because this, after the thousand years are completed, we'll read that in a minute, we'll learn it right to the night, but after the thousand years are, are completed, then those that, have, that, that are uh, uh, lost will be resurrected. So notice, now, the, <clears throat> the enemy that sowed them is the devil, in verse 39, the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. And so they're gathered, they're gathered before the, before the, the uh, before, um, but after the saints are, but during the time when the saints are here and the saints will be carried away and they'll be left here on earth. Notice now, uh, so in verse 41, the Son of Man shall send forth His angels, and they shall gather out of His kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then, here is, here is when God comes and Jesus comes back, sets up His kingdom. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father, who hath an ear, let him hear what they uh, let, let him hear. So this is this is 
my understanding of this here, the, the binding is taking place right now. The, the, the lost are seeking out different things that they mm -hmm. love and they're coming together and they're, they're participating in, in the things of this world. Whereas those that are the children of God are trying to stay away from all of this sinful stuff. These, these here that are, are being bundled, they're the ones that are searching out and they're, they're running to and fro seeking well, what they can do and seeing who they can uh, <laughs> cheat and beat and, and carry on with. And so this is what I, I think this is uh, all about. But uh, one more thing that I wanted to read to you, and it, it was something that Brother Larry read the other, other night. I think it's in the 19th of uh, Revelations. Uh, I think it's uh, six, I think it's the 16th. Now notice here in verse uh, in chapter 16, and this is uh, it could be after the thousand years. I don't know. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, "Go your way and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth." And the first went and poured out his vials upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark. Now this mark is is the mark of uh, of the Antichrist, I'm assuming, but anyway, he says they had a mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as blood of, the, of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the river and the fountains of water, and they became blood. Now, this is where that all of these terrors that are bundled, they're going to be suffering. Right, and, and and they're going to uh, feel the uh, the pain of all of this. And notice, uh, uh, and the Bible says that they will they will they will curse God mm -hmm. while they are, are are suffering this. So he said here uh, uh, in the four, verse four, and the third angel poured out his vial upon the river and fountain of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard no angel of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. Amen. And, and the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch <coughs> men with fire. This is this will happen here upon this earth Amen. before the kingdom of God is set up. Because listen, all of these, all of these that are bundled are still here together, and they're worshiping the Antichrist, and they're worshiping this world, and the the the, 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 the saved have been caught out, and we will not we will not see this. We will right. not we will not go through this. But those that are the tares those that would poison the wheat, those that are sinful, they're the ones that are going to go through all of this. And you can read this and in, in notice in, in, in verse 10, and the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the sea of the beast and his, his kingdom was full of darkness and they gnawed their tongues for pain. So this morning, uh, these are some of the things that I think that the... That the uh, the, the parable of the tares and the, and the wheat are pointing to and uh, it's good for us this morning to know listen there is tares among us right and uh, he said just let them let them alone Jesus said let them alone mm -hmm. uh, don't don't try to uh, and, and listen <laughs> you don't cram religion down a person, you you're right. Don't, you don't do it. You don't say to a terror, "You're going to die and go to hell if you don't quit that." Listen, the terror, if he is changed, will be changed because that the Holy Spirit speaks to his heart. But listen, this morning, I know this: that God has His own, mm -hmm. and when He sowed the seed, listen, He didn't sow no terror seed. 
Now, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say that the terrors, any of the terrors can be changed. I don't know. And that's between them and God. But listen, I know this, that the Bible says that he sowed good seed. And what does the good seed represent? The Christians, the ones that are that will grow the, the pure wheat. And so this morning, uh, think upon these things and uh, uh, you maybe fill in the gaps where that I have uh, stumbled over. I know there's a lot of things here that I didn't, uh, didn't say that I had studied on, but uh, this is the gist of this, this, is, this is what's happening. And to you that are saved and you see people out here doing these things, Listen, the biggest majority of them, you, you can see by their fruits. And, and the Bible says you can tell the, uh, the tree by the fruit it bears. And you can tell this morning about a person by the fruit he bears. And he continually bears bad fruit. Listen, he's not a God. Right. It's just not a God. And so don't get upset because they're flourishing. They're prospering. They have good things going for them because, listen, their day is coming. Amen. Their day is coming, and they're going to be bundled, and they're going to be thrown to the to the lake of fire. And uh, uh, we will be with at home with the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and then we're going to come back to this earth when it's when it's fixed for us and set up for us, and we're going to be here on the on the new earth. And Amen. Rejoice and be with the Lord. So this is our lesson this morning. I hope that I've uh, read something here this morning that will uh, encourage you and help you this morning. Thank you so much.